Uh, I just want to repeat some things that I thought were some of the most profound statements uh, and reinforcement of statements that we've heard today. The first is, is John reminding us of A.J. Musty's, there is no way to peace. Peace yeah. is yeah. the way. Peace is the way. And to go back further in time, yesterday as part of our prayer service that, that uh, began, um, either began, I forget which, in which uh, service we used it, uh, but we used a quote from the New Testament, from the letter of James, where he states, the harvest of justice is sown in peace by those who cultivate You know, thank God we have some empirical evidence that those things are true, um, because we're hard a hard-nosed scientific people. But I tell you that I am here, and I am driven by the fact that those words from James, those words from A.J. Musty, were inspired by the fact that God's own self decided Whatever my people are going through, I must go through too. And I must be an example to them as to how to go through it. And Jesus was embodiment, embodying Christ, embodying God, lived a life of absolute nonviolence, and he taught. Blessed are the peacemakers. Love your enemies. Do good to those who persecute you. And the grace of my Father's love. The Shakers would say it with many of us. Are my Father, Mother, God's love. Will give you the strength to be able to carry that out. And how do we get that strength? And here's something that hasn't been spoken of. I think there's, there's a, it probably hasn't been spoken of because we accept it, many accept it. Either, either we accept it or we reject it so out of hand that it hasn't come up. But that is, how do we do that? The, the, how do we do that cultivation that James spoke of? The broad word is called prayer. The deepest prayer is contemplation, meditation, silence. We've done, we've heard some marvelous words uh, the, these two days. We'll hear more marvelous words. But yesterday we had two solid hours and two different times. Of blessed 